now all the slides are in, the next thing we want to do is we're going to bring the sail over the starboard side. After the sail is on the starboard side, the next thing we want to do is we're going to open the clutch for the reef line. It's a red, white, and blue line located on the starboard side, innermost clutch. So we're going to open the clutch for the reef line. That reef line goes through the boom and attached in the back of the boom right here. As you can see, Ensign Tracy is taking or getting slack on that line, taking it out of the back of the boom is what we want. There's a stopper knot in the end. This figure eight stopper knot is very important when you derig the boat and put it back to how it was at the beginning because if that stopper knot is not there and someone takes the slack out of the line, that line is going to simply go right back into the boom and then the boom will have to be taken apart off the boat, et cetera, et cetera, to get that line back out, and the boat won't be able to be used for a while. So now that that figure eight knot's out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the reef tack, which is a silver grommet right here. That's Trace is gonna hold that up. We're gonna put it in the starboard side, the right side of that tack. Pull the slack out. Trace is going to go to the other side and hold this up for me. There we go. Next thing you want to do is you're going to take the end of the reef line and on the same side of the boom that the sail is on, you're going to put it down on that side. Okay. You want to make sure that you're behind this canvas strap and then you're going to go in between the main sheet, which is the blue line, and the boom. And pull it through. So next we're going to utilize the bowling knot, but it's a little bit modified because you're using the bowling knot to tie the reef line to a solid object, the object being the boom itself, as opposed to tying a bowling knot to just the line itself. So like any bowling knot, you have your six. You're going to have the end of it laying on top, just like that. You're going to hold that six cross right there. I like to have my standing line, and then also you have a hang line below that. So you have your six, you have your tail pointing away from you. You're going to go first around the standing line, up through the bottom of your loop, underneath your hanging line, and then back through the top of your loop. And you're going to take the end of the reef line here, and the part that's parallel to it, and then the opposite line, and you're going to pull those. As you can see, you'll make a loop, as well as the bowling knot, <coughs> as shown. After that's done, I'm going to take the slack out, and now you can see the reef line is attached to the boom. And it's behind this canvas strap, that way it won't slide forward. Once that's done, Ensa Trace is going to go ahead and drop it. And now you have your reef line attached to the boom, all set to go with that.